Uh, I'm uh, passionate about this issue and the board was concerned about it. Uh, the, the debate you're having today is a very tangible one. This is not an area I know very much about at all. Open government and open data will allow people to do something they've never been able to do before. Customize their government. Open data is important to us because it fuels a lot of the civic tech projects that we work on. And I believe this to be one of the simplest, most inexpensive and high impact initiatives that a city can take to improve the lives of its citizens. The mayor's commitment to doubling the number of data sets available is admirable, uh, but I think it misses the mark. Division has no language around um, sort of what I call activating those data sets. This is sort of like putting a message in a bottle and throwing it out to sea and hoping that it gets to the right person. Open data needs to be more than just a New Year's resolution. You had four priorities, but only three full-time FTEs on it. There were no target, no deadlines, no schedule or plan. It doesn't present a lot of concrete actions for how the open data and open government programs in Toronto will grow. Open data isn't in my job description. My annual evaluation isn't based on this work. I don't get a raise or a promotion if this goes well. So it does nothing for me. Worst case, I get fired. We have been looking at other locations to go to. We know the US, it's easier to acquire data. British Columbia, it's just a lot easier. More and more university partnered with private sector firms are relying on open data. We need you guys to create more leading men and leading ladies in the bureaucracy. People such as Keith and Rahan from Toronto Open Data Portal right behind us. Denise Carr from 311 Toronto. Nancy Sozaki from the City Clerk's Office. We want key data set, planning data sets. We don't need baby names. It's open data and data science to monitor illicit landlord behavior. Benefits of open data for businesses is it streamlines decision making. As a city not keeping up with global competitors, the point's already been made. I think the initiative is at a crossroads in the city. That's why we've, we've created this report. The Community Perspective on Open Data in Toronto presents 15 very clear, concrete actions that we believe the city can take in 2016. Seeing none, we're going to bring it in committee. Questions of staff. So I guess I'm trying to understand if we want to move this forward and there are problems or challenges with implementation. This is actually the very first time this city has on any kind of committee agenda to address the issue of open data. So in that respect, it's a watershed moment. So I'm asking for this report. I'm asking my colleagues not to be scared or hindered by the different components here. There's nothing earth shattering here. I will wait until the uh, consultation meeting and see what comes out of there. You know, we can hold a community meeting, but to address Councillor Nunziata's concerns, if we don't pass this, these recommendations and move this report forward and we just have a community meeting, I can pretty much tell you, Councillor Nunziata, that the deputants that you saw here this morning will be the same ones back at that community meeting and there'll be more people saying the same thing, that things need to be advanced in the City of Toronto, that we are doing good work, but there's much more to be done, which is why I'm asking for this report to move forward with recommendations. Thank you. Councillor Grimes motion first. All in favour? Opposed? That carries. My motion. All in favour? Opposed? And that carries.